Putting together a new computer. What are you doing? That's my hat. Here's a door. <laughs> you, look, you look so weird. I know. Yeah, you do. It's like a mixture between. I like it. A, a cafeteria lady thing and a mushroom, like something from Mario. That's what it looks like to me. A mushroom from Mario? I don't even know, it just reminds me of Mario. Let's do this. Let's do this. I think, I think it's it's like, it's got a little like, reggae feel. What? Play some reggae. <laughs> right. We're on to the uh, thermal paste part. We we just put the heat sink, I mean, what is that called? Is that called a heat sink? Yeah. The heat sink, um, what, what are these called? Brackets? Yeah, brackets. I couldn't think of the word brackets. We just put those on. Now we're gonna put thermal paste. And, and usually how we do it is we, we spread a really thin layer of, of thermal paste on there. But in the directions to this, it says to put a small dot in the middle, and that's it. And yeah, I just researched it, and there's like a graph right here where they, they test it out like a small dot, bigger dot, bigger dot, bigger dot, and like it's spread. And then, yeah. they, then they put a lot on it. It says pretty much that the small dots had cooler temperatures. Is that what it, that number is? The temperature? Yeah. That's the temperature of the CPU. So tiny dot and small dot are pretty much equal. So the big the big lines are bad. And the, <laughs> the bigger dot is way up here. One stripe. They, oh yeah, they did a stripe and then two stripes. So like a stripe whatever. Spread got 37, which is only one more than the tiny dot. But and then a lot is way up there, so. So I guess we get better listen to this and just do a dot. I love how you bought. Wait, are we gonna do a tiny dot or a small dot? Well, it says put a kidding. press a small drop in the middle, so I mean. I think this is the same exact. Yeah, it's the same stuff. one. It's the same exact heat sink stuff that, that came in here. N two H one. I mean thermal paste. I'm scared. This is like really scary for me. Well, if we're doing a dot, then there's nothing to be scared of. I can't see if it's coming out or not. No. It's coming out. Enough? Yes. I think that's too much. I did too much. I did too much. <laughs> I'm scared. That's how much it says to do. But there's a little turd hanging. It's like a little Hershey kiss. They didn't do it. They didn't Hershey kiss it. Yeah, you better. I didn't do a dot. Hershey kissed. Better get like a paper towel and scoop some of that up or something. <laughs> <laughs> I can't not Hershey kiss it. Right, I, so I took it off. He, he took it off, which is why it's a little smudged. And then you put an even smaller dot. But it's Hershey kissed. But it looks about right. Yeah, it looks like a, a little spike. So you line those up with those things that are sticking out and you screw it right into them. So I took the plastic thing off. Holy mother. Look at how shiny that crap is. Wow. They really cleaned it. Can I lick it? Yeah, DJ, you should definitely lick it. Oh, I just touched that. Shouldn't have done that. So I just put it on top of there and I just screwed in. Yeah, you just line them up with the. Dude, is this gonna fit with my RAM? Are you touching something? What are you doing? No. I'm lining up. I'm just shooting light through that. Uh. Problem? Uh oh. Wait, no, it's not touching. It's touching this side. Touching the ram on this side. Alright. We're gonna go while we figure this out. If you get this heat sink, remember to take the fans off if they're already on. Because in the directions it doesn't say take fans off. It just assumes that the fans are off. So uh, that's what our problem was. So we took them off. We didn't remove the thermal paste. I'm not sure if you're supposed to remove the thermal paste. We did the dot thing and we put it down and they were spread a little bit because we put the we had the heat sink on top of it a second ago, but I don't know if we were supposed to remove the throw. I guess not because it was still fresh. That's what I'm hoping. Probably doesn't matter, but that's gonna stress me out. So to apply the fans, just slide it in there. So you center it and you bring it down there. You can go as low as you can go. How low can you go? 
you go to the flow. See, I couldn't bring this fan too low because my my ram was there, but this one I can go as low as I want. So I'm not sure if I should center it with this one or not, but I mean, it would make sense for the airflow to be direct with that one. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Or maybe it's a little bit lower so I can f cover more of the heat sink. And then once you're where you want to be, you take the metal part and then you just use this as leverage and you pull until you're over this hump and then it just latches right on. You do the same thing for the other side. It's kind of really cool the way it works. It just latches right on. Uh, that's how the cookie crumbles there. So the hardest part's done. And uh, I don't know. I get really stressed out about that part because it's different for each CPU cooler. So, and, so like, we learning. We're we learning. <laughs> So we're learning every time. Yeah, you have to like learn how to do it, and it's a pain in the butt. Are these fans right? Are they fl flowing that way? So I'm pretty sure the air needs to go out that way. Um, this is the exhaust, I think. If they aren't, it's not that hard to... wait. If they aren't, we'll burn our CPU in seconds. I should probably double check before well, I do how anything. How do you know? I mean, this is how the fans were in the first place, but... Alright, so guys, um, don't take what we just did as advice, because <laughs> we did it wrong. Well, I didn't mount the fans wrong, but it's facing the wrong way. Because the airflow is supposed to go this way, and I had a complete brain fart, and the way these things work is the air air is supposed to blow through the metal, So, because the metal heats up. It exchanges heat from the CPU to the metal, and then the fans are supposed to blow the heat off of the heat sink. That's how heat sinks work. It wouldn't make sense to have this fan over here blowing that way, because it'd be doing absolutely nothing. Right now, I have it set up to blow the air that way onto my freaking like RAM crap so and my CD drive whenever it's in there basically I don't think I need to take this all the way out so if you have the same mistake as me and you put it on backwards I don't think you need to take it all the way out I'm pretty sure you should just be able to remove the fans turn this fan around take this fan and put it over here and there's like these little white things so I'm just gonna remove those and see if this works so I don't want to take the whole heat sink off that was a big pain in the butt this is a, this would be a lot easier I think so I'm gonna try it right now. Oh yeah, see there's an arrow. I didn't I didn't check the for the arrow. arrow. The arrow's on the bottom. So that shows that the air flows that way. So I wanna take it around here and do a little flippy flip. Alright, so I'm just gonna attempt to just remove So don't forget about these little grips. Yeah, so I'd highly recommend getting it right the first time because getting these little things out seems like a pain in the butt and I definitely can't do it, my hands are too big. You need nails. Green has got the hang of it. They're sticky. Yeah, they're sticky on one side, so. So as you can see, we removed it from this side, all four of them, and we're just placing them into here. Hey, Bibi, you're talented. You're a talented beaver. Talented beaver. You're, you're a teaver, beaver. A beaver teaver. All right, this one's a hard one. See if she could do this one, guys. You think she could do it? Comment below. Oh my god. I might, I might need some tweezers. Are you, are you grounded, beaver? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. It was like magic. <laughs> I was still looking down there. So if you commented yes, then you were correct. Where's that plug again? Over there. We did it. Um, I flipped this fan upside down and it's going to go like this. Because I feel like, I mean, maybe, maybe I should put it back the other way. Because it's upside down right now. I feel like it shouldn't be upside down, but I feel like it doesn't matter because it's all going to blow the same way anyways. But for some reason I don't like this this particular wire going under right where the CPU is. I feel like it'll like melt the wire. I want to ask you guys a question. Um, we're going to install it like this because it looks right to me. It looks like since the letters are here that it's supposed to be like this is right side up. Here's the back and I mean the letters are like that so this definitely looks like it's right side up and the Cables. Well, this comes out the side. Yeah, it comes out the side. So, you would think, like, looking at it, I would think immediately that I would have to be forced to turn it upside down because of my case, and it's only made like that for, like, a case that has this, this on the top or something like that. But, and, and I actually did do that. I put it upside down for this computer. I just realized, at the bottom of this case, there's an area for it to, like a, for, like a fan area. So maybe, am I stupid? <laughs> Like, am I stupid for doing that? And that one, I swear that one didn't have a hole in the bottom. But it's really just seems like that that's how it's supposed to be. And it's supposed to, like, take air from here and exhaust it out the back. And that's how it stays cool. I mean, it would, I guess it kind of makes sense because it would be an inch off the ground. So I, that's how I'm going to do it because it seems right. It seems right for the air to blow in and then that out to keep it yeah. cool. So if we're doing that wrong, tell us. 
but it, that's how we're going to do it. Look at that. Gaming.com. Pretty card. It's going to export some Vegas files. They put it here or over? It's big. Jeez. What is she doing? What are you doing? Okay. Usually when she comes in here, it's thundering out. I'm just scared. She's scared. Oh. Oh, doggy scared. <laughs> now the moment we've all been waiting for. The power button. Wait, Maybe. there's an on and off button in the back. Look in the back. Is it on? Is it on the line? No. Oh, put it on. You would have been like, oh no! Alright. Alright, three, two, one. It's gonna explode. You got a light, that's good. Your fans. Alright. Well, it's quiet. Yeah, baby. It's a pretty quiet one. It's a quiet one, Beaver. That's good. I haven't seen the monitor do anything yet. I'm a little nervous. Did I, did I do anything wrong on the monitor thing? Just like right, thing. I put it in a different port now. Three, two, one, monitor. Oh, come on, man. One time I gotta bring this in the store and ask them for help. First time this has ever happened to me. Did we forget to plug something in inside there? Don't you have to boot it up with a CD? We should see a freaking BIOS. All I want is a BIOS, man. Alright, so I don't know much about video cards, but we moved it up to the slot on top just to see. I mean, it might just be the motherboard's video card, or I mean, it might be the motherboard's PCI slot that wasn't working, or I just had it in the wrong slot and I need to put the other one. So I turn the monitor back on, and we're going to try this again. Here we go. Let's see if that makes a difference. If it does, it's kind of stupid. But awesome. Three, two, one, image. Really? We might have a dead on arrival card. We might need to give the uh Ooh. That's not good. That that's right next to the CPU fan beads. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we just tried out the other video card, it didn't work, so we realized it's not a dead on arrival video card, but we saw that we missed out on this little connection right here, and it was a huge pain in the butt to get it in, not only that, but the pins didn't look right, so we were like, we don't have the right cables, but well, the it's, box says it's an ATX, but and it, that's it, what it is. said it was the right one, so we just pushed it in and it went, and it the house she, and the squares did not match. Well, we didn't just push it in. She had to, like, struggle. I had to, like, put my skinny little arms down there. Yeah. We call it the houses and the squares, because it's like, it's like house, square, house, house, square, house, like... You know what I'm talking about? Like, one's a square? All right, we're going to try it out now and see if it works. I feel pretty good about it this time. Let's... One more last shot. Come on, baby. Just give me... Give me a sign. Wait, I saw a blink over there. Oh, 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 yes, we did it, baby. Good job, baby, we just put together a computer, all by ourselves. All right, okay, okay. I knew it, guys, I saw a little blink in that case, I looked down, and I saw a little blinker, a little, little boop, and I knew that was my blink of hope. Wait, oh, new CPU installed, oh, whatever, CPU fan error. So we looked up issues with this fan, and people said that they had the same issue where they had the CPU fan error. Did we show them the CPU fan error? I think we did. Well, if you get that error, just turn off QFAN in your BIOS, and it works. You just got VL'd.